Hey everybody, welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Cards of Big Chance. Um, last time, I should have actually made sure that the Camtasia recording was actually recording my voice instead of not. So, um, yeah, that was kind of dumb on my part. I usually should check that kind of thing, but I didn't. So, uh, hey, you know, whatever. So, last time, uh, we encountered the Room of Fire, which is extremely, extremely frightening. <laughs> And full of fire, as already noted. Uh, uh, eh. Uh. I already been hit once. And I don't know if I should have killed that mouse or not, but. Oh, this is really dangerous. Whew. Okay, uh, fall down here. Okay. Oh, there's stuff up there. I'm gonna go up there first. Okay, okay. Careful, careful. Easy, careful. Okay. Whew. Something tells me that there might have been something there inside the that circle of coins. But I'll find out. Uh, can I actually jump over that without getting hurt? Nope. Apparently not. What's over here, though? Oh. Oh! It's uh, anthropomorphic staplers. They're they're alive and they're they're scaring the crap out of me. Ah! I might die. That's really sad. Die to a stapler. There's a rat. A mouse. <laughs> That's cute. Oh! Oh shit! All right. Uh. Well, gotta do that whole part again. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Computer mouse, yes, indeedy. Okay, gotta be a little bit more careful about that. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go over on this side first so I can get that key and hopefully not die. Hopefully. Give me a keyword there. Can I make the jump? Oh my god, I can make that jump! Holy crap! I just have to watch out for the living staplers. Ah! And the other computer mouse. And there's... Oh, there's other stuff over there. Oh, there's a scorpion over there. I'll have to go explore that area next. I got a key now! And I'm gonna go back... No. I'm eventually going to go back to that one spot that had that, uh... door that I could go through, and I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh, man, I made that jump twice. That's amazing. I am amazing at this game, apparently. You... Whoop. Okay, that was close. Too close for my comfort. Uh... Where do I fall and not die? Okay, let's go down here. Oh, I should have probably fallen on that fire right there, huh? Whew, okay. Crawl under that. Uh... Okay. This is really dangerous. There's an executive up here. What's he have to say? Getting hot in here, is it? Bruce? Okay, this guy's a name. But you know, that'll make any woman hot. Telling her she's sexy, that's what. They love to know it, and it's guaranteed to get you some action. Of course, they gotta be lookers, else it won't work. But, buddy, why'd you have an interest in a gal if she wasn't, if she were a minger? Min minger? That might not have been the best thing to get. Uh. Shit. I know I'm not, I'm supposed to ignore the advice of executives, so. I'm gonna start over again! Oh god, this is horrible! I get to do this whole section over again. That was really stupid of me. Yay! Yes! Oh, forget it. At this point, I don't care. Roar! Ah! These things are horrible. Alright, at least I got some health back. No? Get, jump, jump. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna do something... Oop. Save. So I don't have to worry as much about everything as I did before. Oop. All right, cool. All right, I gotta get those coins up here again. Sorry, I know it was dumb. I apologize. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall there. That was. I thought there was gonna be a platform there. Turns out there wasn't. But uh. So I don't actually have to go over here, do I? Because there's only... The only thing over here is Bruce. So... Screw him. I'm leaving. I'm really going to try not to die this time. 
Uh, uh, okay. Woo! My ass is on fire. Okay. All right. Oh, that room was horrifying. Let's move on. I know there was a scorpion in here. There's largely empty, and there's a huh bricks that would indicate that there's a car in here somewhere. When it comes to dating, there are three different types of girls. First, you got your frumpy girls. They don't like stuff about sex. Oh, no. But then you got your kinky girls. You do. They'll be attracted to a wild, lustful beast of a man, but turned off by a prudish, sensitive guy. Lastly, there's the average girl, who doesn't like either extreme, call her sexy, and she'll like it, but stare at her chest, and she won't like that at all. Good advice for real life. Oh, hey, there's a girl right there. And there's nothing else in here, apparently, that it would seem. Except for a couple more drones that I don't feel like talking to right now. Let's go talk to her. That guy, Dave, he's not so good with the ladies. I feel sort of sorry for him. He tries so hard, but he just doesn't really know what girls like. I mean, some guys are just too soft. I want a guy who will ravage me. Not some guy who will worry about hurting me being too rough. Sheesh. That sounds like my kind of girl. <laughs> okay. So that was a mostly fruitless endeavor. What's in room number one? Another woman. Please don't talk to me. Fine. Okay. Let's see. What can I... What's around here? Another woman. Jeez. There are women everywhere. I've been hearing a lot of spooky noises coming from upstairs lately. Are the floor, pe floor three people having wild parties again? They tend to do that, I think. But no, it sounds more like ghosts. I'll have to consult my psychic to see if she knows who it could be. Oh, good, a crazy woman. More blocks. Okay, there has to be a car around here. So, oh, hey, there's another lock. I wonder, uh, what's over here? I'm going to look before I, uh... Uh, it looks like absolutely nothing is there. Fantastic. I'm going to save the... Oh, okay, I can't go through here. So what does this guy do? All right, fine, I'll use up my key. You're going on a date tonight, mate. At least that's what I heard. I don't know much about dating, but let me give you a few pointers anyway. One thing I've learned is that girls don't like it if you think they're slutty. That they're all easy, like. Or if you try to pay them. Doesn't go down well. So what you should do is compliment her on not looking sl Uh... That seems like horrible advice. <laughs> I'm gonna not use that. But thankfully, because I just entered that last door, uh, there's really nothing that I need to do. Right? In this room. So, uh, let's... Let's go try and find some more stuff to do. More tasks or something. Let's look at the third floor. See what that girl was talking about with the ghosts and such. What's up here? I don't know. But I can't make that jump. Unless I go here! Oh, wow, there are a lot of clocks around here. There's a... Tree 2 is in the lead at the moment. Come on, Tree 3, you can do it. Grow taller, I believe in you. Okay. Ooh, a mouse and a scorpion. While the mouse won't give me anything, the scorpion will. I'm gonna go there first. By first, I mean next. You. Okay. Die, scorpion! Woo! I am three out of ten done. <laughs> Alright, uh, I suppose that's enough for this time. I know these parts aren't very interesting, but I assure you at some point they might be. So, uh, thanks for joining for part 15? 15, I guess? Probably? I really don't know anymore. I have less like there's a big chance. Next time, something interesting will happen. Probably.